as Grand Marshal and Professor Emeritus of the Department of Natural Resources Science in the College of the Environment and Life Sciences, I declare the 137th Graduate School Commencement Ceremony of the University of Rhode Island officially open. We will begin our ceremony with Sam Junta, class of 2024, who will sing the national anthem. We dedicate this performance to the men and women of our armed services and in memory of their fallen comrades. Today, we honor the 49 veterans in the class of 2023, and we are deeply grateful for their service and all they have accomplished at URI. Please rise, if able, and remain standing for the singing of our national anthem. Thank you, Sam. Please be seated. The University of Rhode Island land acknowledgement statement was developed in collaboration with the Narragansett tribe. The University of Rhode Island occupies the traditional stomping ground of the Narragansett nation and the Niantic people. We honor and respect the enduring and continuing relationship between the indigenous people and this land by teaching and learning more about their history and present day communities and by becoming stewards of the land we now to inhabit. Today's dedication will be offered by Thupten Tenhar, a specialist at the URI Center for Nonviolence and Peace Studies. He teaches an undergraduate course on mindfulness and happiness at the honors program and a graduate course on peace and nonviolence at the Department of Political Science. Thupton was recently presented with this year's Martin Luther King Jr. Peacemaker Award, recognizing his work at the University Center for Nonviolence and Peace Studies and work as an instructor of Kingian nonviolence at URI, training students and international practitioners. It is my pleasure to introduce Dupton Tenhar. Good afternoon, graduates, parents, professors, and supporters. It is a great honor to be here and dedicate this commencement ceremony today. To all the graduates, let me express my sincere congratulations to you on this joyous occasion. 
despite the threat and challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic and other obstacles, you remain mindful, courageous, and diligent to reach this admirable finish line. So let, let's all be present here and celebrate you with this major academic accomplishment. Fill your heart and let go of any guilt of the past or worries for the future at this time. This particular movement is too precious to be overshadowed by negative thoughts or emotions, including your stress and worries about finding a new direction. You have worked hard from primary school through this higher education degree. So treat yourself today with immeasurable compassion, kindness, and joy. As you graduate, you may soon explore further twists and turns of life. If you encounter any negativities, remember to return to the balance and take good care of your mind. I recommend you keep your spirit curious, pure, and positive, for it brings more smiles to your face and joy into your heart. The flow and flourishing makes our life more meaningful and memorable. You may face significant challenges against your conscience and humanity from yourself or others. In such instances, remember to act positively rather than react negatively. Peace and nonviolence are essential for survival and prosperity of humanity. Peaceful human values like love, compassion, and forgiveness makes us unique and more valuable than modern technologies equipped with artificial intelligence or AI. In Buddhism, compassion and wisdom are compared to the two wings of bird. Like birds, every human needs a highly developed brain as well as a warm heart to use one's maximum potential and to reach the best heights. As you have enriched your brain with higher education, let's treat equal nourishment to your heart so it blossoms with love and compassion to benefit yourself and all others. Once again, you are celebrating your graduation today after years of hard work. So enjoy this great accomplishment to be grateful to your family or everyone who supported you through this journey. Let me chant a brief Tibetan prayer for peace and happiness. May peace be with you always. Thank you. Thank you, Thupten. It is my pleasure to introduce Brenton DeBuff, Dean of the Graduate School. Good evening, graduates, friends, and family. It's good to see you. Around the grad school, you will hear me talk a lot about our, how our goal is to transform students from students to leaders. So think about that. When we admitted you into our graduate programs, we admitted you because you were a talented student. And today, you're graduating because you've transformed from that talented student and now you're ready to lead. But before you walk across that stage, or this stage, I wanna give you one last lesson. I promise it'll be quick. We have given you all the tools that you need to be a scholar, an expert, and a leader. But leadership is worthless without direction. 
As Uncle Ben would always say, with great power comes great responsibility. I challenge you to make the direction of your leadership goodness. I know that may sound fuzzy, naive, vague, but I promise you that choosing the good path is not as easy as it sounds. That's why we've taught you how to be critical, how to research, and how to uh, analyze arguments. And then after all of that analysis is done, I challenge you to choose the good path. I challenge you to act and to lead in the good direction. In that moment, someday you'll be in a boardroom, in a laboratory, in an office, or even at your own home, and you'll have a critical choice to make. And I challenge you to choose goodness. Lead with goodness. Okay, so that's it for the little lesson. But just like in class, I'm not done, okay? So before we get on with the business of awarding masters and doctoral degrees, I have just a little bit more uh, business that I want to take care of. I want to brag about four special individuals today. All right, and this is one of my favorite things to do all year. The graduate school would like to specifically honor two students today for their outstanding research accomplishments and two additional individuals for their contributions to our graduate community. And I'll have everyone, each of those individuals stand as we go here. First, the Graduate Mentoring Award recognizes the vital role faculty play as mentors to our graduate students. This year, the Graduate Mentoring Award goes to Professor Arun Shukla. Professor Shukla is the Simon Ostrich Professor of Mechanical, Industrial, and Systems Engineering, and he's the co-director of the National Institute of Underwater Vehicle Technology, which is jointly housed between URI and UConn. Few faculty in the history of the University of Rhode Island have accomplished more than Professor Shukla in terms of scientific impact and leadership in their field of research. The stats quantifying Professor Shukla's 42-year career at URI are simply astounding. Over 400 scholarly publications, right now he has $25 million per year of research funding. 12 former students who are now faculty at top tier universities, including Ivy League schools. However, if you're Professor Shukla, if you ask Professor Shukla what he is most proud of, he would most undoubtedly answer that it has been the accomplishments of his 105 students who he has mentored through the years and now have phenomenal careers of their own. Three of Professor Shukla's students who are graduating today wrote comments for us. They say things like, Dr. Shukla always artfully pushed me to hone my skills while never being unkind. I was initially worried about the high expectations and workload, but he gave me the tools and mentorship to succeed and flourish. And finally, my time spent in Dr. Shukla's lab is some of the most fruitful learning experiences of my life. When we in the graduate school talk about Professor Shukla, we always laugh about commencement and how much of a workout it is for him. This weekend, he has eight students graduating from his research group. And in normal years, you would see Professor Shukla come up here, he would hood someone, you'll see this in a minute, he'll hood someone right here, and then we always laugh about how he has to book it around the back to like running in full regalia to get back in line to hood his next student, right? And uh, so uh, surprisingly, actually, today he's only hooding one doctoral student. And so he deserves a break from all that running in regalia over the past 42 years. Please join me once again in commending Dr. Shukla for his exemplary work. Okay, three more. I often say uh, that I hope that URI graduates, you guys, in a few years will say three things about your time at URI. One, I hope you say that we launched you to super sex su successful careers. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Okay. <laughs> Two, I hope they say that, that, that your time at URI was some of the best years of your life. 
And three, I hope you say that you're a better citizen and a better human being because you attended URI. This next award honors a member of our community who has dedicated their time to making our students better citizens and better human beings. This year, the Graduate School created the Outstanding Champion of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, an award to honor members of our community, it could be to a faculty, a student, or a staff member, who have distinguished themselves by creating a welcoming and supporting environment for our students. There were many, many excellent nominees who I would, under any other circumstance, be happy to give this award to. But I have to say, I have never seen the flood of support that was shown to this year's awardee, Asta Abdemichel. There is Asta. Oh, Asta's in the back there. If you are a grad student at URI, there is a very good chance your experience has been impacted by Asta. In addition to being an excellent researcher in the Graduate School of Oceanography, Asta is a founding member of, this, of a, group, uh, a student group called Voices of Inclusion uh, in Communicating and Educating Science. He worked with colleagues in the College of, Engin of the Environment and Life Sciences to create a graduate student mentoring program. And most notably, he's the student leader of the Graduate School's Diversity and Inclusion Badge, uh, which has trained and certified over 200 graduate students as leaders in the field of diversity, equity, and inclusion. Asta will likely walk across this stage next year when he earns a PhD in oceanography, but he is making an impact now. One of his colleagues wrote, Asta is simply a kind and outstanding human being who is centered by collaborating and creating inclusive spaces. I cannot say enough about the character of this person. Asta has created spaces for synergy amongst graduate students, faculty, staff, researchers, and other communities here at URI to find belonging. I should also add that Asta claims to make the best in JIRA in the state. That's what the kind of leader that we hope to train here at URI. Please join me in welcome or in congratulating Asta once more. And now for the students who are graduating today. The Graduate School annually honors two graduates who have demonstrated excellence in master's and doctoral research. Today, we'll recognize two of those students, one, earning, uh, one earning each degree. The outstanding master's thesis recipient is Jamie Miller. Ms. Miller will earn a Master's of Arts in Marine Affairs today. Her thesis, which was mentored by Professor Elizabeth Mendenhall, was titled The Impact of Artisanal Fishers on Food Security and Socioecological Systems in Rhode Island. Her work, which was supported by the storytelling grant from Slow Food USA, focused on the intersection of food insecurity and fishing as a means of sustenance here in New England. Honestly, this is a story that just had not been told and needed to be told. Her work had received international attention from scholars and, and media. All right, please stay standing. And uh, today's uh, doctoral award winner is uh, Dr. Peter Ritchie. Peter is not here today, but, uh, uh, but uh, receiving the award for him is Otto Gregory, his uh, advisor. Peter Ritchie earned his PhD in chemical engineering in December 2022. That's why he's not here today. Uh, his research focused on the development of a digital dog's nose. That may sound a little strange, but it's a long-standing problem in the field of chemical sensing. Despite all the high-tech sensors that have been developed throughout the years, we still can't beat a dog's nose. That is, until now. All right. Uh, Dr. Ritchie developed a sensor platform that was, that was highly sensitive. In fact, he showed that it was more sensitive do than a dog's nose and first demonstrated that it could be used to detect explosives, right? So, you, you know, the dogs that are smelling you at the airport, we finally have an instrument to do that now. And that's because of work here at URI. The breakthrough was, uh, was covered by dozens of media outlets, including the CBS Evening News, Fox News, and the Daily Mail. But he didn't stop there. Peter next applied the technology to medical diagnosis and showed that the digital sensor platform could be used to detect maladies such as COVID and kidney disease. Thus far, Peter has published eight manuscripts in top tier journals such as Nature, and he has, is listed as the inventor on seven patent applications. This really is the beginning of something big 
and it started in a lab right here at URI. Jill and Peter are just two examples, or sorry, uh, Jamie and Peter are just two examples of exemplary leaders that are graduating today. They dedicated their graduate studies to work that contributes to the greater good of our society. That's what I call leading with goodness. Please join me once again in congratulating Miss Jamie Miller and Peter Ritchie. <laughs> leading with goodness has become kind of a personal motto for me, so I thought I'd share it with you today as a kind of benediction of my time with these graduates. We are happy to com continue the commencement ceremony in a second and, uh, and to welcome our graduates into the global community of URI alumni. We have special guests, Veronica uh, Barozzi and Nicole Rice, I believe they're over here, uh, presenting every member of the class of 2023 with a URI pin and, and the resource that they will need to find their network and stay connected to their alma mater. Thank you, Veronica and Nicole, for demonstrating the lifelong bond that URI can have with its graduates. And now, Presiding today will be the 12th president of the University of Rhode Island. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Mark Parlange. So graduates, I, I have to begin by saying just how proud of all of you I am. I've gotten to know a number of you over these last two years and I really wanna say you are all extraordinary. Let's, maybe we should begin, though, by first uh, acknowledging all your family and friends and supporters and faculty by a big, warm round of applause for the community. So today we're cel celebrating a commencement, and you may feel that you're at an end point here, but in fact, by definition, this is a beginning. And as we celebrate this beginning, let's, let's take a look back at what it took to get here. So since the day you arrived at URI, you've been certainly challenged by your coursework, by your peers, your professors, and by yourselves. You, and you have met these challenges, and you are now equipped to face whatever comes your way. You're ready to succeed wherever you go, and it's really been an honor to see the work that you have done and the paths that you have carved for yourselves. Now, like Dean DeBuff, I have also a few uh, bits of advice to give here. I encourage you to remember that with the rewards of your degree also comes responsibility. And I have faith that as you advance in your careers, you will embody the values that we hold dear as an institution, that you will live and lead with integrity, courage, and honesty. You are now members of the URI family, university ambassadors, and I look forward to seeing where you go from here. Indeed, some of the most prominent ambassadors and stewards of URI are the University of Rhode Island Board of Trustees, dedicated volunteers who spend countless hours with URI's senior leaders to help guide the university. Please join me in welcoming University of Rhode Island Board of Trustee members Matthew Lentz and Melissa Sutherland, who are joining us on the platform today. Thank you for celebrating with us, Matt and Melissa. And again, the warmest of congratulations to all our graduates. You have no idea how proud we are of you. Very best. Congratulations. And with that, Brenton, thank you. Tanya Silva de Oliveira is a chemical engineer and an analytical research scientist at Vertex. Vertex is one of the leading uh, global pharmaceutical companies that develop drugs to fight some of the world's most serious conditions. She's also a woman of faith, courage, and diligence. A native of Brazil, she is this year's graduate student commencement speaker. With her drive and the support of her family, she completed two bachelor's degrees in Brazil. Despite not speaking English, she left Brazil to come to URI. She became proficient in English and then completed her undergraduate study abroad experience in engineering. 
After completing her undergraduate studies in Brazil, she returned to URI for her doctorate in chemical engineering, which she completed in December 2022. Please congratulate Tanya Oliveira and welcome her to the platform. Thank you for the nice introduction, Jim Booth. Imagine it, and you will achieve it. Dream what you want to be, and you will become it. This is a paraphrase of a quote written by William Ward, and an idea that is embedded in my mind since my childhood. I remember laying on my bed, looking at the sky, and thinking that if I studied hard enough, I could be able to become very successful in the future. I always knew and felt that education was the way towards a better life for me and for my family. As an undergraduate, I went to a chemical engineering college, and like many of you, I worked during the nights to pay my rent and bills and studied during the day. As destiny also plays its role, the idea of studying abroad entered my heart. I thought and talked about it constantly, but I also had this nagging thought that there was no way I could get it since I, had, since I lacked the resources to achieve it. It was then when I learned about a new scholarship program provided by the Brazilian government that had just started and was focused on students from STEAM majors. I grabbed that chance with my whole self. I came to URI as an exchange student back in 2013 to 2014, before completing my second year in college in Brazil. Later, I would return to URI to pursue my PhD degree. I would not have been able to complete this journey without the graduate assistantships awarded to me. This support is something that we often do not mention its impact, but that makes a huge difference to many of us. Less than 2% of the world's population and only about 4% of the American population has a PhD degree, according to the US Census Bureau. Well, <laughs> graduate school is not easy for anyone. The challenges we face during graduation does not diminish because of who you are or because where you came from. We all know that we fought, dedicated, and gave the best of ourselves to be sitting where we are today. But graduate school is also very rewarding, otherwise no one would pursue it. I still remember the feeling of having my first scientific paper published, and I bet you do as well. It's a really good one. Be proud of what you become and all the accomplishments you have achieved. Cherish every accomplishment, even if that is a lot more to accomplish in your life. Life is all about collecting moments, memories, and celebrating them. I want to thank your eye, the chemical engineering department, and of course, the Bose Laboratory for Colloid Interfaces for those four and a half years of deep and strong learning during my graduate program. I want to extend my love and thanks to all my friends, to my husband and sister who are celebrating here with me today, and to my family at home in Brazil and Egypt as they're watching me right now. Mãe, vó, Kalili, Júnior, Dalila, Jovita and Khaled, I would not have been able to make it here today without you. And as I know that my mom and my grandma are not understand one single word of what I'm saying right now, <laughs> I'll ask you to excuse me so I can give them a few special words. Te amo, vó, te amo, mãe. Obrigada por tudo. I also want to congratulate you, class of 2023. You are amazing. In particular, I offer my heartfelt congratulations to all the PhDs here today. You nailed it. And thank you. And 
for all the graduate students, you have made it. Tone of applause to all of us. We are already the difference, and we will continue to make the difference and be the difference in our lives and the environment around us. I hope you enjoy and celebrate this unique moment, and of course, collect many memories. Thank you. Thank you, Tanya, for your words of wisdom. We will now move on to honor, honoring our graduates, and I welcome Provost Barbara Wolf to join me to confer the degrees. Thank you. Will the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy please rise? President Parlange, I present the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy and ask that you confer on them that degree. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the University of Rhode Island Board of Trustees and on the recommendation of the university faculty, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Philosophy with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto and I congratulate you on behalf of the entire university. <laughs> Doctors, please be seated. Mohazadel Islam Anik, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Jeffrey Bothin, Core Shell Nanoparticles for Application. Callie Antonelli, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Dugan Hayes, Photochemical Dynamics of Ferritin 6. <laughs> Stephanie Argus, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Anne Marie Vaccaro, White Woman Racial Reckoning. Muhammad Hassan Ashrush, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Mehmet Yelkin, Reconceptualizing Supply Chain Flows. <laughs> Albert Hoysia Jared Avant, Major Professor Peter Cavino, Hooding Professor Martha Elena Rojas, Mascadine Poems. <laughs> Emma Baufman. Major Professor and Hooding Professor Ryan Trim, Middle Children of History. <laughs> J. 
Julie Ann Boslin, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Becky Sartini, Best Practices for Small Scale Poultry. Tamali Kavarti, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Arnoob Dada, SWI SNF Mediated Gene Regulation. Xiaotin Chen, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Shangji Wang, Soft Robot Design, Modeling and Control. Matthew Colavito, Major Professor Jason Dahl, Hooding Professor Jason Dahl, and Paul Lariat. Forces on Shape Changing Bodies. Alicia Marie Crisali, Hooding Professor and Major Professor Bong Shup Cho, Structure Activity Study of Carcinogens. Sami Donner, Major Professor Sumata Das, Hooding Professor Rabia Hois. Composite Materials Behavior. Joan Dugas, Major Professor Jennifer, Jennifer Mammon, Hooding Professor Jennifer Mammon and Katharina Gilsro. Home Health Care Nurses Experiences. Dominique Angame Chopa, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Gretchen Macht, Quantitative Analysis of Communication. Shannon Forkus. Major Professor and Hooding Professor Nicole Weiss, Interpersonal Trauma and Substance Use. <laughs> Matthew Freeman, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Samantha Meenick, Particle Engineering for Drug Delivery. Gina Marie Gallucci, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Nisan Goem, PPARA Targeted Therapy in Cholestitis. Haley Elise Genero, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Ellen Flannery Schroeder, Parenting Style and Help Seeking for Children Anxiety and Depression, a vignette study. Bobby Gondola, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Kathy Pino, Community College Students Experience. Amy Marie Grisbowski, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Kathy Pino, a case study of non-credit to credit pathways at community colleges. Mm -hmm. 
Esperanzas Gutierrez, Major Professor Diane Martins, Hooding Professor Diane Martins, and Adana Schwartz Barcott. The Strengths of Lutina Mothers. Okay. Hojat Hardy, Major Professor Mohammed Fagri, Hooding Professor Constantine Angotilopoulos. Microphiletic paper-based devices. <laughs> Gethmini Jayasikara, Hooding Professor and Major Professor Dugan Hayes, CUI Catalyzed Photochemistry. Meg Jones, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Daniel Dennis, Queer and Trans Education in Finland. <laughs> Mershra Kaligi, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Gretchen Macht, Exploring Unique EV Charging Behaviors. Tracy Amanda Kahn, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Christy Ashley, Fun in Marketing. <laughs> Kayla Rose Kurtz, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Vinka Craver, Biofouling of Marine Sensors. Michael Landreth, Major Professor Pito, Peter Cavino, Hooding Professor Jennifer D Jones, Waiting Too Long to Move at Green Lights. Ryan Ivone, Ryan Ivone Major Professor and Hooding Professor Samantha Meenick, Creation of Controlled Release Platforms. Connor O'Loughlin, Major Professor and Hooding Professor, Mustafa Kolenevic, Dynamics of Rational Difference Equation. Michelle, Michelle Gemma Palmer, Major Professor Susan DeSanto Medea, Hooding Professor Marie, sorry, Kim Arlacola. Hypoglycemic screaming, screening in term newborns. Zaiban Ponthi, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Thomas Boving, Coastal Hydrodynamics Investigation. Cassie Lynn Picard, Major Professor Matt Kieswetter, Hooding Professor Matt Kieswetter and Brenton DeBoeuf. Pesticides, polymers, and pollution. Hem Pokaro, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Vinka Craver, Improving Quality Exploring CWF. Surendra Raj Puri, Major Professor J. Kim, Hooding Professor Dugan Hayes, Nanoscale Liquid Liquid Interface. Ray Chi, 
Major Professor and Hooding Professor Dayu Lee, Research and DNA Adduct. Amanda Roy, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Patricia Morikoff, Co-Constructing Self-Compassion. Julian Michael Saad, Major Professor Jim Prochaska, Hooding Professor Lisa Harlow, The Self, the self Health Movement. Safietu Sanya, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Kathy Pino, Black Francophone African International Students in Higher Education. <laughs> Daniel Douglas Sartori, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Kushala Adekahari, OSC and matrix filtering for SISAS. Paul Salvatore Sauka, major professor and hooding professor Aaron Bradshaw, numerical analysis of foundation systems. You're busy. Zachary Shepard, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Vinka Craver, Biological Interactions with Nanomaterials. <laughs> Tanya Silvia de Oliveira, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Arjit Bose, Gold Nanoparticles, Micro Nanoplastics. Melissa Ann Smith, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Dugan Hayes, XAS Study of Sustainable Materials. <laughs> Charles Spellman, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Joseph Goodwill, activates, Activated Ferret for Water Treatment. Craig Power Tilton, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Arun Shukala, Volumes in Confined Environments. Kevin Topper, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Julie Coiro, Improving Student Dialogue. Luce Van Dam, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Chris Kin Kincaid, Migrating Mid-Ocean Ridge Geodynamics. <laughs> Xiao Cho Wei, Major Professor Yang Shen, Hooding Professor Robert Pacolny, Hawaiian Volcanoes. Kevin Wong, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Holly Putnam, Choral Acclimization Across Generations. <laughs> Ching Ting Chang, Major Professor and Hooding Professor Changzi Wan, Modeling Diagnosis and Control.
Joseph Patrick Sullivan, Major Professor and Hooding Professor, Professor Arjit Bose, Polymer Electrolyte Lithium Ion Battery. Will the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Nursing Practice please rise? President Parlange, I present the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Nursing Practice and ask that you confer on them that degree. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the University of Rhode Island Board of Trustees and on the recommendation of the university faculty, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Nursing Practice with all the rights, privileges, and responsibility pertaining thereto, and I congratulate you on behalf of the entire university. Layla Aziz. Christine Hanover. Carolina Herrera. Donna Cava. Christina Lambert. Lynette Novak. Hassan Sada. Jennifer Rodriguez Pyrus Texara. Will the candidates for the Doctor of Physical Therapy please rise? <laughs> President Parlange, I present the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Physical Therapy and ask that you confer on them that degree. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the University of Rhode Island Board of Trustees, and on the recommendation of the university faculty, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Physical Therapy with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. And I congratulate you on behalf of the entire university.
Rachel Marie Bartels. Jacob Lawrence Carlson. Hannah Carvalho. Scott Ryan Comparado. Jonathan Kevin Courier. Congratulations. We're so proud of you. Daniel DeLuca. Nicole Donahue. Caden Durham. Kristen Marie English. Samantha Farhi. Jacqueline Fernandez. Brianna Goff. Samantha Harrison. Connor Hayward. Kelsey Mahar. Congratulations. We're so proud of you. Danielle Nicole Martin. Taylor Marie Meyerjack. Ronald Brian Manier. Lauren Marguerite Parente. Haley Lauren Parente. Kyung Chan Park. Yeah, 
Bailey Elizabeth Ritchie. James Sorrell. Brandon Wick. Arletta Whalen. Trevor Robert Williams. Taylor Marie Worthington. Timothy Kong Yi. <laughs> President Parlange. I now present to you the candidates who will be certified by the university for the master's degree. After rising, I ask the candidates for each master's degree to remain standing until the degree is conferred. Will the candidates for the master's of arts please rise? Will the candidates for the master's of science please rise? Will the candidates for the Masters of Business Administration please rise? Will the candidates for Master of Environmental Science and Management please rise? Will the candidates for the Master of Library and Information Studies please rise? Will the candidates for the Master of Marine Affairs please rise? Will the candidates for the Master of Oceanography please rise? Will the candidates for the Master of Public Administration please rise? Will the candidates for the Professional Science Masters please rise? <laughs> President Parlange, I present to you these candidates for the master's degrees in course and ask that you confer on them their degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the University of Rhode Island Board of Trustees, and on the recommendation of the university faculty, I hereby confer upon you the master's degree with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. And I extend to you the congratulations of the entire university. Masters, please be seated as we recognize our degree recipients.
Patrick Elkins. Gabriela Dominguez. Mackenzie Derderian. Natalie Del Rio Franco. Gianni De Jesus. Nicole D'Amato. Amanda Decision. Gregory Dombroska. Timothy Cathcart. Letty Cass. Beanie Carr. Abigail Lynn Brewer. Tamika Blake. Lauren Bissonette. Angela Barber. Peter Maxwell Ludwig. Mary Lind. Susan Kosiba. Chloe Kessler. Emil Jones. Miriam Esqua. Jacqueline Ibarra. Christine Holtquist. John Harrow. Crystal Gladu. Wendy Gallo. Julia Fortin. Emily Fernandez. Annalise England. Lauren Elizabeth Messina. Cassandra Marks Leach. Christra Stradivarithis. Elise Stearns. Zach Secuncio. Cassandra Santiago. Rachel Salisbury. Dennis Segamang. Tyler Rubush. Francisco Riojas. Carlos Omki. Ashley O'Loughlin. Cassidy O'Connell. Jamie Miller. Emil, uh, sorry, Emmanuel Micha. Melissa, Melissa Willis. Emily White. Jacob Walthren. Juliet Waromi. Kyla Vieira. Julia Unger. Etikarina Sylvester. Ahmed Alamed. Kent Atapolini. Allison Andred. Myrea Antizana. Natalie Artiboleta. Ryan Aruda. Rowan Saravello. Austin Clark. Alex Collin. Tyler Collado. Christina Craig. Jody Kreiner. Abigail Bloom. Carol Blake. Catherine Bell. Jordan Beeson. Dean Batson. Paige Bailey. Emma Rose Asher. Alexis Sharpenter. 
Sarah Cassandro. Sarah Carney. Delight Bucko. Emily Bryan. George Bowen IV. Joseph Borges. Savannah Crowther. Breedy Curran. Daniel Day. Larissa Forentinato. Sandra Genevieve Deeb. April Borges. Thomas Grogan. Alexander Gramanjo. Rebecca Haters. Cecilia Hafner Jada. Jamil Hallaby III. Santiago Familietti. Karina Fabian. Tyler Ann Ellison. Annalise Marie Elias. Islam Daimov. Adriana Duffy. Deonti Devozi. De Lucas DeWitt. Gianna Delgado. Shannon O'Rourke. Cyril Julia Punita. Christina Goslin. Karina Jaber. Aiden Gasparo. Michael Galeska. Emily Gagnon. Alexa Kippitz. Mary Jo Coffrey. Rogan Kennedy. Tewo Kayade. Michelle Kuvineski. Herbert Genya. Vida Genodi. Beatrice Hoffman. Mary Hammerstein. Carmen Ferreira. Christopher Faringo. Pamela Franco. Brielle Frantoni Jaskowitz. Alex Lachance. Kelsey Lamoth. William Lang. Lindsay LaRoche. William McGuire. Brendan McCarran. Stephanie Matalo. Tiana Martinez. Samantha Martins. Luke Norman Martin Jordanet. Caitlin Neville. Marina Nageb. Vanessa Munez. Alyssa Menard. Jordan Lask. Brianna Latorti. Annabelle Leahy. Cosette Lee. Rebecca Page Levesque. Anna Lohr. Rachel Lucier. Justin Mayo. Steven Marstipovich. <laughs> Stephanie Nielitz. Steph Nelson. Tweetlin Nguyen. Ephany Afikansi. Sarah Ogawa. 
Barbatunde Ongashola, Katie Paparelli, Poonam Parab, Andrew Pariso, Molly Perkins, Catherine Pierce, Natalie Pitts, Jennifer Prue, Serby Rathor, Joseph Rays, Glenn Ritchie, Sky Richards, Rendy Reardon, Sarah Ann Robitai, Samantha Rawlings, Matthew Roganoni, Shelby Roy, Amber Ruscher, Dennis Sagamang, Siobhan Scanlon, Alyssa Scott, Maria Sinchera, Grayton Shankman, Jocelyn Sherman, Anusha Singamanini, Justin Slifer, Shannon Smith, Jasira Sararis, Abigail Sosha, Megan Spellman, Jacob William Staples, Leanne Steinberg, Aaron Stender, Maeve Story, Dominic Strama, Caselyn Then, Kylie Thierren, Emily Tibbles, Amanda Tibercio, Uldine Say, Maya Turnbull, Ravi Upahande, Yasfana Vega, Jade Went, Chrissy Wojciechowski, Alexander Worrell, Long Yang, Brady Young, Amelia Flannery, Tabitha Zanarski, Z Zhang, Alyssa Varen, Hailey, sorry, Kelly Rose Voigt, Samuel Joseph Watson, Michael Burke. Annabelle Leahy, Kelsey Brown, Sarah Jane Cook, Elizabeth Davis, Noah Dedeo, James Gallagher, James McBride, Kristen Langworthy, Aaron Mullen, Mackenzie Pratt, Samantha Borer, Victor Martel, Whitney Marshall, Sarah Ring, Anna Simon, Maya Thompson, Isabel Atma, David Arason. Danielle Beatrice, Gia Bonaminio, Melissa Kamba Kelsey, Kylie Clifford, John Shinodio, Melanie Diamanti, 
Silvari Gesnian. Caitlin Green. Tiara Hagochi. Matthew Huff. Jordan Koda. Jessica Konaki. Sherry Lynn Lombardi. Paul Michael Mascherelli. Sarah Molt. Tammy Napolitino. Stephen Nevis. Eamon O'Connell. Jamie Smith. Susanna Smith. Tom Thalman. Paul Whalen. Lisa Willis. Elizabeth Wong. David Young. Noemi Kispragi. Pardon me. Flora Sazingi. Susanna Egri. Kuzma Agnes. Norbert Nemeth. Peter Nemeth. Istvan Sakares. Jade Lopez. Elena Morin. Catherine Nazarian. Renee Niger. Michael Sansevero. Laren Sullivan. Julia Tanili. Sarah Gribben. Kylie Abuzed. Hector Barreras. Carlo Berger. Helmi Caesar. Aid Chimita. Darlandri Darlandri. Gubrina Faraji. Mohammed Fayad. Isabella Giacomo. Moritrani Haney. Grace Heckel. Benjamin Hooks. Mohammed Ekbal. Sharifti Jane. Sarilyn Levake. Hayden McDermott. Erica Mayer. Nadia Moss. Madeline Murphy. Liam Rinaldi Young. Christopher Robadu. Sasnita Sasnita. Lisa Schaefer. Sarah Schechter. Megan Shanigan. Samantha Tebow. Tiku Zalasian. Muhammad Zakharal. Sophie Oliva Vacious. Tess Alexander. Holly Atkinson. Patricia Bastia. Michael Brusso. Christopher Cassidy. Stacy Clark. Kelsey Cronin. Aaron Cunningham. Catherine Cunningham. Thomas Dubois. Laura Ferry. Sarah Griffin. Kelly Kimball. 
Amelia Lavalli. Alexis Raposa. Catherine Shappy. Cameron Tierney. Una Trainer. Patrick Wolf. Benjamin DeRouge. Connor Flynn. Michael Flynn Jr. Jean Carlos Hirato. Nick Kidd. <laughs> Kenneth Du sorry, Kenneth Ludiaz. Catherine Bianchi. Jacob Lucier. Teresa Manning Lavolsi. Jacob Mueller. Singpruthanitha Nichulanameta. Alicia Pear. Samantha Saldua. Anthony Duturo. Max Sylvia. Kevin Caswell. Ajla Gosi. Would you please rise for the alma mater, which will be sung by Sam Junta, class of 2024. I now declare the graduate school commencement ceremony officially closed. Congratulations to the University of Rhode Island class of 2023.
party will now depart the arena and will be followed by the faculty and graduates. All guests can meet their graduates outside the Ryan Center where professional photographers will be available to take pictures with graduates, guests, and family members. These photographers will be wearing red vests for easy recognition and the images they capture after the ceremony will be available along with the images they capture of each graduate during the ceremony. Congratulations again to the University of Rhode Island Class of 2023.
Thank mm-hmm. you. 